Hi everyone. In this session of mesh analysis, I have selected two loop circuit. The problem is find the current through 10 ohm resistor and 20 ohm resistor using mesh analysis and also find the voltage drop across 20 ohm resistor. The circuit is given here like this. So to begin with the solution of this circuit, we have to first assign the loop currents for the given two loops. So I will take these are the two loops. I will take the first loop current as I1 and second loop current as I2. So this is the first step of assigning current. Now, whenever current flows through a resistor of 10 ohm in this direction, I have to mark the polarity plus minus here like this. And for 30 ohm, plus minus like this. So I am tracing in the clockwise direction. For 10 ohm current enters here, leaves here. So plus minus. For 30 ohm enters here, leaves here. So plus minus for the first loop. Similarly, we will mark the polarity for the second loop. So current I2 enters this terminal of 30 ohm. So I will mark here plus and minus here. And for 20 ohm it enters here plus minus. This is the second step of marking all the polarities. Now, to begin with the sign convention of applying the KVL, whenever you move from positive terminal to negative terminal of a battery source, it is considered as a voltage drop. So, you have to take minus V. Okay, you have to consider minus V. And whenever you move from negative to positive, it is considered as a voltage rise. You have to take plus V for the EMF source. Now, for the resistor, whenever you move from plus to minus, it is considered as a voltage drop. So, you have to take drop means it is a minus and how much is the magnitude? It is I into R. Similarly, move from minus to plus, it is considered as a voltage rise and we have to take plus I into R drop. So, with these four basic rules, we will apply the KVL to the given circuit. Now, let us consider the first loop given. Now, for the voltage source, minus to plus means it is a voltage, it's a rise in voltage. So, I am taking a plus V. So, I am taking here plus 10. Then, second element, when we move from plus to minus, it is a voltage drop. So, it is negative sign. And how much is the drop? I told you plus to minus, minus IR. So, minus I wrote here. How much is I? I is the given current, I1. R is the given resistor, 10. So, it is minus 10 times I1. Now, for the 30 ohm, it is again plus to minus. I am tracing the first loop. Plus to minus means drop. So, sign is minus. Resistor value is 30. And how much is the current now? Now, for 30 ohm, two current flows. I1 in the downward direction. I2 in the upward direction. So, the both the currents are moving in the opposite direction. So, net current will be the difference between two currents. Since I am in the first loop, I am taking I1 minus I2. So, 30 into I1 minus I2. I2 is equal to 0 is the first equation. Now we will simplify this equation 10 minus 10 minus 30 minus 40 I1. So plus 30 I2 is equal to 0. Now 40 I1 minus 30 I2 is equal to 10. Consider this as a first equation. Now go to the second loop. We will begin with the 20 ohm. For 20 ohm we are moving plus to minus. Plus to minus means voltage drop. So I have to begin with minus 20 current is I2. So this drop is minus 20 I2. Now when I move from plus to minus there is a drop. Whenever there is a drop I have to take minus 5. So it is a EMF source. So plus to minus I have to take minus V. The V is here volt 5 volt. Now, come back to the 30 ohm. Again, I am moving from plus to minus means it is a drop. How much is a drop? Drop is nothing but I into R. R is 30. Now, what is the net current? 1 is I2 flows in upward direction. I1 flows in the downward direction. Again, it is a difference. Now, for the second loop, you have to take it as I2 minus I1 is equal to 0. So, this is the second equation. Now, simplify this. Minus 20 I2 minus 30 I2 minus 50 I2 then minus minus plus 30 I1 minus 5 is equal to 0. I will rearrange this 30 I1 30 I1 minus 50 I2 is equal to 5. I will take this as a second equation. 
to solve these two simultaneous equation press mode then to get the equation mode you have to press 5 then our equation is in the form of first equation so I am pressing 1 it will give in the matrix form now enter the values the first equation values are I1 40 so you enter 40 then press is equal to so it will take as I1 then I2 is minus 30 press minus 3 0 press is equal to it will go to that place then enter 10 is equal to so first equation we entered so the cursor will come to the second equation so second equation first variable is 30 press 30 then minus 50 is equal to 5 so once we entered both the equation press is equal to to get the value of x here your x is nothing but the value of the current i1 which is equal to 7 by 22 if you want to get the decimal value press s to d you will get 0 0.31 amps as the current then to get the i2 press is equal to it will give i2 is equal to 1 by 11 then to get the decimal mode press s to d you will get 0 0.0909 amps so you got both the current i1 and i2 so what is the question asked is find the current through 10 ohm so current through 10 ohm is nothing but your current I1 which is equal to 0 0.318 amps and current through 20 ohm that is current through 20 ohm is nothing but the current I2 which is equal to 0 0.0909 amps. So they also asked what is the drop across 20 ohm. So V20 is the voltage drop across 20 ohm is nothing but I into R. So I is I2 so it is 20 times I2. So you can calculate that is equal to 1.818 volt.